Let us see how you can create WhatsApp templates. Click on the view icon, click on create template and click on updated interface. Write a template name. If you enter space, it will automatically convert to underscore because meta allows underscore instead of space. Select your template language and select an appropriate category for your template. Click on next. Now you can have no header in the template or you can have a text based header or you can have a media based header. So you can upload an image or a video or a document or also a location. Now the content that you enter here for your header it is only an example when you send the actual message you can surely edit this or change this so in this template i'm going to set an image header so this is basically an example image now in the body section you can have variables simply click on this icon to add a variable to your body as per meta policy you can never end your template with a variable so you will always need to enter some sort of text after or before a variable You can have more than one variable in the body. You can also add images or bold italic strike text, a particular content so whenever you'll do this you can see that the system will automatically add whatsapp formatting next for all the variables that you have entered you need to give example to meta you can surely change the variables when you're actually sending the message but you need to specify an example now footer is basically a light gray colored text that you can enter or you can also skip this it appears in this way next you can have up to 10 buttons in total out of which you can have maximum two website buttons one call now button and up to seven uh, quick reply buttons so if you do not enter any call to actions button then you can have up to 10 quick reply buttons but if you enter cta buttons then you can have only three cta buttons and then the remaining seven can be quick reply it is not mandatory to have 10 all the time but a maximum of 10 by combination of both is allowed so let me start with a website button your website url can be static or it can also be dynamic so first i'll enter a static url next I'm, I, as I can add two website buttons, I am entering a second website button. This time I am keeping it dynamic. So in case you are entering a dynamic URL type, you always have to presume that in the end you can have any type of variable content. So you need to simply enter your website URL here and in the end you can define the full URL or basically an example URL so this part you can always change while you are actually sending the message 
and next I can have a call now phone number so I'll enter my phone number as well now you can see that visit website button is at the top the second track order button is in the second number and third I am unable to see the third button instead I have seen and I am getting an option of see all options. So with this all of the other buttons would also be visible. I can reorder these buttons up and down from here itself. So now the phone number sorry now the track order button is on the top and now if I want the phone number button on the top I can simply scroll like this. Now I can add, now I cannot add any more CTA buttons because I have already added the three maximum allowed. Now I will add quick reply buttons. So now all of the quick reply buttons have came to the top and CTA buttons have gone down. So you can move the entire block up and down. So for example, CTA have now came up and quick reply have gone down but you cannot mix or merge CTA and quick reply together but you can internally move the blocks. Now if I have only one quick reply button you will see that it will come on the top and the second button has came from the CTA first button and if I change this then the quick reply button has gone in the bottom so you can play with the placement here and see all the permutation and combinations possible after this click on submit template meta takes anywhere between one day one minute up till one day to approve most of the templates now let us see if it has got approved so it is already approved you can preview the template from here this is how your actual content will look thank you